Christian Graham, 26 years old and I'm a professional sports photographer. My job involves basically I work for an international picture agency. So basically we're sending out to newspapers, magazines, websites, cover sporting events and, and big news events. Most of the jobs come in on the emails, find out what it is. I might have to do rugby union or rugby league, Aussie rules, cricket, whatever it might be. Um, normally during the winter I do the, the rugby league and rugby union, so I'll be going to a, a night football match. And then I'll wander in to the press room, normally about an hour before the game, set the laptop up, do a, a caption, so I have the correct teams and their place and country. And then once the game starts, I'll, I'll run the sideline, um, try to get in the best spots for the tries and the, the best pitches I can. Then uh, half time, most of the time, I'll, I'll file from the sideline now. We have pretty good technology, which allows you to download onto your laptop and then uh, send via remote cards um, to our website and that way uh, newspapers, magazines and websites all around the world pick those live images up before deadline hopefully. Then yeah, finish the game off, finish covering it and hopefully have the big picture from the end of the game. We'll then spend about another hour and a half in the press room at the end of the game just uh, editing through and putting together a nice set of all the moments of the game, the injuries, the celebrations, dejection, coaches, fans, whatever we, we thought was a good picture. Then uh, then I'll head home, normally about 11.30 midnight after a night game, and then uh, I'll sit for another two hours and edit and send my stuff, my uh, my pictures into the, the picture server at, uh, at work. Sports photography's got to a point where anyone can go and buy the, the new fan-dangled lenses and they'll, they'll get a nice sharp man with the ball picture. So a lot of photography now is, is changing more to, to an art-based thing, so you try to get something completely different to everyone else. I do photography 365 days of the year, seven days a week, pretty much 24 hours of the day. It's just constant all the time. You do have your days off and most of the time I'm editing my own pictures. It's just one of those life obsession type jobs where you just do whatever you do. I think for someone like me who wants to do it and photography is a hobby, it is glamorous, it's like your dream job. I mean, you don't want to do anything else and you get paid to do something that you enjoy doing. So um, to me it's glamorous. I was going to be a wildlife ranger or something like that, I wasn't quite sure. But something just changed about two months before I finished year 12. I knew nothing about photography. I'd pretty much never picked a camera up before in my life and um, just kind of went, I think it'd be glamorous. So I just um, changed my direction and found out how I, what I had to do to get into university and how to go about being a photographer. I asked my dad to help me out with some money and we bought a camera, about $2,000 worth of camera equipment. Applied to go to, to university in Brisbane. Got knocked back from that. Six months or so passed, so just messing around taking pictures and then uh, got the job at the paper and at the same time I, I started at uh, a diploma in photography at, at TAFE. While I was at the paper I got to see all the international agencies pictures coming in. Those guys were just phenomenal, the photographers were unbelievable and you know, I said this is what I gotta do. So um, I then just put in more hours and eventually it all sort of paid off for me. I love my job, it's, um, it's not a job, it's, a, it's just something I do and get paid to do it, it's excellent. My advice um, to anyone that wanted to get involved in photography, um, you don't have to go to university. I still think a lot of the best photographers in the world are, are self-taught. And basically all it is is, is mathematics and, and learning the craft of the camera. So once you've got that down pat and how to do correct exposure and focus, it's quite easy. I just bought magazines and books and read and tried techniques and just just took hundreds, thousands of photographs and learnt from my own mistakes. And I think the other thing is, I think you need to get involved in the industry a little bit. If you can find someone, another photographer, or they can kind of mentor you into, um, you know, you show them your pictures and they can say, this is bad, this is good. You know, why'd you do this? Why'd you do that? And um, I think that's the best way. Just recently covered the, the tsunami aftermath in Thailand. Pretty hardcore event for someone who was used to shooting sport and hasn't really covered wars or anything like that. I don't have a favourite photograph as such. Most of the pictures that I like are kind of my favourites. It's an emotional attachment for me. 
with that picture, what I went through to get that picture. So that way it has a little place with me, even though it's not great. I don't have one particular image that I go, oh, I absolutely nailed that and that's the best thing I'll ever do in my life. But uh, maybe it's yet to come.